Hey guys, this is Justin from thecarflip.com. I'm coming to you live this morning from a 2001 Mercury Cougar. I know you're jealous, but I'm on my way into my office this morning and uh, probably not jealous, but I'll tell you why I'm talking about this vehicle in just a moment. Uh, if you're watching this video later, um, especially if you're on YouTube, this streamed originally live in the Car Flip Facebook group. If you're not a member of that, you should be. So the reason I'm making this video is because I have had several questions recently about what kind of cars people should be buying. More specifically, someone asked yesterday exactly what kind of cars I'm looking for right now. And they understood that the beginning of the year, which right now we're in October, so if you're watching this video anytime in the future, right now this is October 2019. And this person that asked the question had never flipped anything, but they understood that tax time is a prime time to sell a vehicle. And they were asking basically what kind of car is so good during that time of the year, which brings me back to the car I'm driving right now, a 2001 Mercury Cougar. There's really nothing special about a Mercury Cougar. They're not necessarily desirable. There's they're just a cheap car basically this car in particular is a 2001 it has exactly 109 616 miles on it it's clean actually really clean on the interior uh, I think it was actually a one owner uh, but the important thing about this car is I only paid actually bought this at auction I only paid $900 for it and of course there are buyer fees but even with the buy fees I was right at a thousand bucks this is the perfect car for tax time now Again, I understand it's a Mercury Cougar. There's nothing special about a Mercury Cougar, but it's a car that can be sold for under $3,000, which is perfect for tax time. Right now, those are the kind of cars that I'm really focusing it, if I can talk, focusing in on. Um, of course, I'm buying my usual, I'm buying uh, vehicles that I normally buy. A lot of cars that I sell are in the under $8,000 price point. Most of the cars that I sell, people are paying cash for, or they're going to their bank, credit union, whatever and bringing me a check for it so I don't like to get much higher than the 8,000 and my reasoning for that and again it this isn't scientific but if someone's gonna be buying a $27,000 car I'm gonna have a lot more competition because number one CarMax Carvana you know your dealership up the street are advertising heavily to that person the vehicles that I can sell for under $8,000, I feel are the best value in my area because I feel that I'm pretty good at buying and I can buy cars that I know are gonna be reliable. So I feel incredibly confident when someone comes to look at a vehicle because I know it's gonna be the best value that they're gonna find because I've done the research and I know so. So this vehicle is a perfect tax time car. It's under $3,000, it's clean. It actually would probably be decent on gas not that people are necessarily looking for that in you know specifically during tax time but cars that do well during tax time are cars that are priced under three thousand dollars because people's tax return can be at that can be more it can be less but three thousand dollars is the amount of money that somebody can scrape together to pay cash for during tax time the reason that it's ideal to be looking for these deals now is because come tax time there's a ton more competition whereas you might find this mercury cougar on facebook today and be able to message and say hey you know i'd like to come look at it this afternoon or maybe tomorrow you know no big deal you go tomorrow you pay cash for it not that you need to be looking specifically for a Mercury Cougar, but something similar, something in this price point, something with decent miles. Um, that same vehicle, give it four or five months. When you message and say, hey, can I come look at that vehicle this evening or tomorrow? The person might say yes, but by the time you get there, it's probably going to be sold because there's tons of people walking around with cash in their pocket. And when people have cash in their pocket, that creates demand. And demand is great when you're selling, but it's not so hot when you're buying because that makes it a little more difficult to find and acquire the deal. So be looking for vehicles that you can sell during tax time for that under $3,000 price point. Think about it from an investment standpoint. Have you ever bought stocks or mutual funds or bonds, that kind of thing? You kind of have a rough idea of what the return you want to be on that investment. A lot of people when they're buying mutual funds, 8%, that, that's a great return. Some people are getting 12, I've heard of some people get 15%. That's an amazing return. If you were to invest in something today, in a year, your return is gonna be X amount of dollars. What no one expects when they buy, let's say Facebook, if you bought Facebook stock today, is it gonna double in a year? Uh, maybe, I mean, it could if something crazy happens. It could lose money. You, you don't really know. I wouldn't expect Facebook to lose money. But how about three months? What if you bought stock today and said, I need the stock to double in three months? 
probably not gonna happen. If you buy a vehicle for a thousand bucks, like I just did, I bought it, I've had this car for about a month, it's gonna double, maybe even more, right? I, I would expect this vehicle to sell during tax time for $3,000, easy. I would expect to be able to sell it for anywhere from two to $2,500 right now. That's doubling my money in less than three months. You cannot do that in the stock market. And I do understand with compound interest and if you're patient with your money that you could definitely do incredibly well in the stock market. And it's a little less work because you just let the money sit there unless the market tanks and that's a different story. But if you're looking for short term, short term return on investment, it's hard to be a good car flip, especially during tax time, especially if you've been mindful and you focus in and bought ahead of time. So that doesn't mean that you have to buy a vehicle and save it for tax time. You can have that vehicle now and you can have it for sale now. And if someone comes and offers me $2,000 for this vehicle that I paid $1,000 on, great. I'll take their money and I'll go buy another vehicle and have that waiting for tax time. So be focused in on vehicles in this price point because with tax time coming, it's something that's going to be beneficial for you. Casey, I'm just seeing your message. Um, I'm definitely trying to bring the value. I want you guys to be prepared. I don't want, what I don't want is for you to see this video in March and think, oh man, I wish I would have seen that. I wish I would have been prepared for tax time. So don't say I didn't tell you. I hope this helps. I am about to pull into my office parking lot. So I'm gonna get off of here and get to work. You guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.